Seven. Deborah Graziano has faced more tragedy in eight years than most of us do in a lifetime. But tonight, the Bay Area mom is breaking three years of silence to share her story because she wants you to know if she can survive all of this, so can you. ABC Action News anchor Serena Fazan has her story of faith and forgiveness. First, they told me he was going to live. Then he was never going to wake up. Deborah Graziano's family thrust into the national spotlight in 2007 when her son John, an Iraq War veteran, suffered catastrophic injuries in a high speed street racing crash. The driver, Nick Balea, the son of pro wrestler Hulk Hogan. I would play my worship music all the way to the hospital every day and just sing and and trusting God and by his bedside she says her faith did not waver even when detectives pulled her aside with devastating news we believe your husband is attempting to pay someone to kill you and I just said that's funny I always thought he was gonna do it himself her husband of 31 years caught on surveillance video plotting her murder Ed Graziano went to prison in 2011 a prayer answered followed by another when she took John home. My faith has always been so strong. But in 2012, a deja vu moment would set her on a collision course with God. Her 24-year-old son, Michael, killed while riding with the drunk driver. When Michael stopped breathing, this strong Christian stopped believing. For the first time in my life, felt like I was betrayed my God, it was all about my children all my life. And I thought you couldn't even handle that one thing. And when I felt like he didn't do that, I just stopped talking to him. But Deborah says God was not done with her yet. Nearly two years after bearing her son, she found her faith again when she least expected it. And I remember feeling like I heard his voice one night say to me, you have to forgive me. She listened and once again started to believe. She also forgave Cameron Bosley, the driver in Michael's crash, his best friend since kindergarten. Are you angry at the Hogans? My anger towards them was very, you know, um, short-lived. I can't waste my time with it. I have too many other things going on and too many wonderful things and too many difficult things to worry about things like that. If there was ever a test of faith, Deborah Graziano feels she's passed them all. You know, I hope I'm doing well enough that, I don't know, people can get some hope that whatever they're going through, they have to find a way to make it doable, you know. And Deborah's heart-wrenching journey caught the attention of book publishers. She declined numerous times, but decided just this year, around the time she found faith again, to share her story. Her book is set to come out in 2016. Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.